G'day guys, Adam here from Get Camping. On today's tailgate review, we're reviewing two popular hiking stoves. Now we have the Jet Boil Flash, um, which was purchased from Anaconda for $159. And we've also got the APG hiking stove, which was purchased from Amazon for $55.99, including delivery. Now there's a $100 price difference, so we're gonna be comparing them side by side and working out what's the actual best value. So let's get into it. Cool. So why do people want portable hiking stoves? Well, they're light, they're compact, um, they're portable, <laughs> um, and they're also an all-in-one cooking system. You can boil water on them, you can cook meals on them, so there's a variety of different things you can do with them. So personally, I bought one of these hiking stoves purely from the fact that I like drinking coffee. So I can easily pull out the hiking stove anywhere that I'm going, if I'm out on the tracks, uh, for driving, if I'm out camping or I'm out exploring, I can whip this out um, boil some water really, really quickly, uh, and then make myself a brew. All right, so let's talk about the jet boil first. Now, the jet boil is a one litre cup. However, you can only boil 500 mils of water at any one time. It features a silicon lid, which snaps on nice and, and firmly to the top of the, of the actual cup itself. And on the top, it's actually got a drinking spout, so you can, you can actually use this to drink out of. Uh, and it's also got a strainer, so you can strain off any water. Um, it's got a neoprene cover. Now the neoprene cover is really good. It insulates the actual um, the heat that comes through. It, it does get warm, but it doesn't get too hot that you can't hold it. Um, it's got a nice carry handle here, so you can use it for drinking. Um, but one thing I really like about the jet ball is that it actually has this nice, neat little flame on the side that changes color. So if you've got this set up and you, you're boiling water away, it gives you a nice visual indicator that you've actually you've reached boiling. Um, now, it's got this little cup on the bottom of the unit itself. Now, it serves as a number of purposes. Now, one, to protect the actual flame ring down the bottom, but also it can be used as a cup um, or a bowl, but also it's a measuring cup as well. So it's got a little, uh, couple of little lines on here um, that indicate you know, if it's um, quarter, half, or one cup, so, which is fantastic. So the burner is actually stored inside the actual um, cup itself. So just put, remove the lid, uh, and that's the burner. And then you've also got a base support, which is also stored in here. Now the base support just simply folds out in a nice little triangle, and then your gas bottle just clips into that. Uh, the burner itself um, has a nice metal handle which flip, flicks open like that, and then you turn it left or right to regulate the gas pressure that's coming out of the bottle. Uh, it also has a piezo ignition, like that, um, so you don't need to carry a lighter, which is a fantastic little option. All right, let's look at the APG unit. Now the APG unit is 1.5 litres in capacity, so 500 mils larger than the actual jet boil. However, it can only boil um, 800 mils of water. It has a silicon lid with a spout for drinking out of or pouring water. And it's also on the other side has a perforations for draining water. The actual main cover itself here is neoprene. However, it doesn't have the flame indicator or the heat indicator like the jet boil. The handles are a little bit different as well. So the handles are a metal handle with a sort of rubberized sort of coating over it, um, which makes for a nice sturdy carrying handle compared to the actual jet boil. Now it doesn't have a bottom cup. So just keep that in mind when you're gonna purchase one of these is that you don't wanna damage that ring. So you have to be careful where you're gonna store it. Now the actual burner itself sits in exactly the same as the, the jet burner. So it fits inside the cup. Um, it's got a little twisting handle here to regulate the gas pressure and it also features a piezo ignition. All right, so we'll go through now how to set these up. They're really, really simple. So basically, take the lid off, slide out the burner. These gas cans, um, this is just one from Kmart. Uh, it's about four bucks. Um, so any good camping store can supply these. And you simply just screw this burner onto the actual gas bottle itself. You hear a little uh, escape of gas and then on the actual um, base here, it's got like a little locking ring. So there's little lugs that are located on the actual burner itself. And basically what happens is that that just slides in like that and you give it a little twist and it's sort of all sort of set up. So you can get this out, literally 30 seconds, have it set up and start boiling some water. 
All right, so similar to the APG, the jet boil is really simple to set up as well. Uh, the canister we're using is actually the original jet boil one. Um, so these are a little bit dearer than the actual ones from Kmart. I think these are about 10 bucks. So um, next time I want to go to buy one, I'll probably just buy the Kmart one because it's just cheaper. Um, so to set it up, simply just take the lid off, slide out the burner and the ring. Now the ring, we'll just set, sort of set that up, snap in the actual uh, gas bottle itself, which I've just missed, in like that, take off the cap, screw the burner on. Now one thing to um, think about is when you're actually doing this, and I've just done it myself here, is the actual handle for the actual ring itself uh, is actually trapped um, in between the neck of the bottle. So I'll have to unscrew that, pull the ring out, and screw that back on. And then pull off the bottom cover. And exactly the same as the APG, it's got these little locking rings. So um, on the burner itself, it's got a little nipple. Um, simply just sort of slide that in, give it a twist, put the lid on, and you're ready to go. So if we take a look at these side by side, uh, you look at the jet boil at one liter and the APG at 1.5, the APG isn't that much difference uh, in, in actual size. Uh, one thing I really do like about the APG is that you can actually fit the gas canister inside the cup. Whereas on the jet boil, you can't fit the same size canister in the cup, uh, you need to go to a smaller canister. If we take a quick look at the, uh, the burner from underneath, you can actually see there's not a lot of difference. And in fact, the actual burners are actually measure the same diameter at 37 millimeters. The jet boil, uh, you can see that they're flux ring technology here, and it looks like the APG has a similar type of system uh, which they've copied. All right, so what we're gonna be doing now is a time test to see which can boil two cups of water quicker. So we've got the jet boil here up to its safe line of two cups, and then I've also put two cups in the APG unit. So we'll get these underway now. We've got the timer. So what I'll do is once they're both started, I'll then hit the timer. So we'll go ahead and start. So simply do start this up, turn the gas on. You can hear that in this one here. So both started and we'll hit the start button. So what we'll do is we'll open these all the way up and we'll see which one comes quickest. Now what we also will do is we'll put the lid on So there's a minute down. We'll just check on these, see how they're going. Looking pretty good. Jet ball, they're both looking pretty similar. We're up to the two minute mark. We'll give them a quick, another quick check. We're starting to get some bubbles here. We'll take these lids off now. Starting to get bubbles here. No bubbles yet on the jet ball. That's interesting. All right. So at two minutes and five seconds, we've got the APG boiling its absolute head off and the jet boil bubbling away, but not boiling yet. That's quite interesting. We'll turn this one off. And starting to boil, full boil now. Let's call it two minutes 30. All right, so what did you think? Did you think the APG was gonna beat the jet boil? I sure didn't. Um, so these are straight off the boil. Um, to, just to remove them, you actually just twist the base and just lift up. Now this is still boiling hot. You definitely don't want to touch that metal ring down the bottom that's, that's red hot, um, but I can comfortably hold that in my hands um, with boiling water in there. Uh, and then the actual handle works a treat as well. Um, so I'll just put that back on. And exactly the same for the actual APG itself. Just hold the base here, give it a twist. Um, and then you can, I can hold my hands around that too. Um, that's not hot at all. Um, and then the handles, they works really well. That's nice. Um, what are your thoughts? What do you think? What, what do you think works better for you? Or always going to work better for you, should I say? Um, I think they're both pretty comparable, hey? Like, I don't see, I'll just try to get this on while I struggle here. Um, I don't see really a greater deal of difference. And, you know, oh, now I've got my finger stuck. I don't know if there's a $100 difference between the two, really. Like. 
like Jet Boil's got a great name and, and you can get an absolute stack of accessories with the Jet Boil. That's one thing I really like. Whereas the APG, I don't know if they're compatible with the Jet Boil ones, but um, let me know in the comments below, what would you buy? Um, has this changed your mind on if you're going to buy a portable stove, which one are you gonna buy now? Because if I was gonna have my time again and I seen this review or I seen a review of the two, I'd probably just buy the APG and stick the other hundred bucks in my pocket. I don't know, let me know. All right guys, there's our first tailgate review done and dusted. Now, I'm planning to bring you more of this content. Um, so if there's something that you want me to do, drop a comment below um, and I'm gonna to try to bring these out fairly, fairly regularly as well. So I'm gonna to try to make them short, sweet and straight to the point. So rather than fluff around. Anyway, so what are my thoughts on these two camping stoves? Look, I think they're both really good stoves. Um, the Jet Ball is obviously the more expensive option. So if you've got the extra hundred bucks and you want to throw around, buy the Jet Ball. They're both really good quality. Um, I think the Jet Ball is probably a little bit better quality than the APG. Um, but look, at the end of the day, all I bought one for is to boil some water for a coffee, right? So I think the APG, I can save the hundred bucks, stick that in my pocket or buy something else and I can still get my, my hot coffee wherever I am. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the content. Um, appreciate the support and we'll catch you on the next one.